Do not go out on the White River right now. That's the warning from firefighters in Indianapolis. Two kayakers got into very dangerous trouble on the water yesterday. Joe Malillo joined us live this morning with this story and where things stand. Joe. Good morning to you guys. Those two kayakers were experienced and police are saying and uh, fire officials are saying don't go out on this river and you could see why. It is very dangerous at this point. The current is very strong. IFD, IFD also says the waters are dangerously high. You could see some of the video taken from this bridge where we're standing. The rescue happened near Broad Ripple Dam. IFD says the two kayakers were holding on to a log here in the middle of a boil. That's an area where the water is being forced upwards, creating a dangerous strong current. It looks like a rapid. Eventually, the first kayaker uh, let go of that log, floated downstream, grabbed a rope, and then by thrown to him by rescuers, and he was then pulled to safety. The second kayaker was knocked unconscious and then pulled downstream before rescuers were able to get to him. They did eventually pull him out of the water. Both men were taken to Eskenazi Hospital in critical condition. Both of the kayakers were experienced, and IFD says if it wasn't for the life vests that they were wearing, that's a huge reason that they'd be saved. Now, uh, you can actually see when we're standing here, guys, you can see uh, one of the life vests kind of stuck up still in the middle of those log area, in that log, and uh, that's a big indication about how seriously strong these waters are. Again, Indianapolis Fire Department warning people, stay away from the White River, and right now, uh, the waters are so high and the currents are so strong, and it can only really get higher and stronger as more weather is expected, as Randy was saying earlier. So something to just keep in mind, we all like to go out. The weather makes it really tough to avoid you know, not going out on the kayak, especially if you're a kayaker like these guys. But IFD says just absolutely no at this point. It's too strong for anyone. And to underscore that, Joe, in our next hour of daybreak, we will talk with two members of the IFD team. We'll talk about the dangers of strong current, high water, and how difficult and dangerous that weekend rescue really was. That's coming up about 7.05 right here on Daybreak. Half